that's I think the hardest block I've ever done. Nysora's Nerve Block app. Don't do or teach nerve blocks without it. Welcome to Nysora YouTube channel. If you thought that nerve blocks were more difficult in obese patients, this video will prove you wrong. In this video, we will demonstrate an axillary block in a patient in whom visualizing anatomy was easy, but block execution was challenging due to the lack of adipose tissue around and inside the brachial plexus. And just before we get started, please consider liking our video and subscribing to our channel and never miss future videos. Let's get started. Okay, so today we have a very special patient. She has a need for AV fistula creation. She's in chronic dialysis, but the single look at this patient is enough actually to deduce that this is a patient with multiple medical uh, problems, yes, and here we have a patient who weighs probably 40 kilos or so, so this will not be your typical um, axillary block with 20 milliliters of local anesthetic. Rather, these are patients who are at a high risk of um, local anesthetic systemic toxicity, so we're going to reduce the dose to probably half, and the chances are we will not even need more than that. So. Everything is prepped and draped here. We're ready to go. And if you look at the anatomy here, here we can clearly see that there's a median nerve, that's a radial nerve, and ulnar nerve is likely somewhere here. But you see, we have to be kind of careful working around this anatomy to make sure that we avoid the vasculature inside. So let's decrease the depth. Uh, you just need maybe 1.8 or something, maybe two centimeters of depth. Although the anatomy is well visible here, the challenge is here, as you will see, is guiding the needle into the axillary sheath while avoiding the axillary artery. The lack of adipose tissue makes this much more difficult, and the patient weight imposes upon restrictions in dose and volume of local anesthetic to avoid local systemic toxicity. Okay, so a mixture of ropivacaine and lidocaine. So ropivacaine 1% and lidocaine 0.5% and we're using 10 milliliters. So we're going to do 4 milliliters uh, behind the artery, 4 milliliters in front of the artery, and we will look for musculocutaneous nerve for another 2-3 milliliters. Let's see how we do this with a low volume. Here we go. So the needle goes in plane. The challenge here is that the brachial plexus is so close to the skin that it is difficult to guide the needle into the plexus sheet. Yeah, the plexus is just so close to the skin. We have to be super careful. Let's go posterior to the artery. So I think that's the best approach. And then we will assess what is the next step that we need to do. Let's get a good view of the needle. Needle tip, yeah. Very good. So, go, so that's the median nerve quite clearly. So we're going to go posterior to the median nerve. Yes, see the needle tip, then lift the needle tip up, so it can go just underneath the artery into the plexus sheet. You don't want to do this, you want to go underneath the artery. What will help you here is less pressure. If you unload yeah. the pressure, so if you have pressure, unload the pressure, it will help you actually open the space where the needle needs to pass. You see how uh, skinny patients actually could make it a lot more difficult because you don't have adipose tissue to lift it up. You want to scrape the adventitia of the axillary artery to avoid the artery aspiration negative. Let's see what the first injection of one milliliter of local anesthetic will do. Okay, so the spread is in front of the sheet, so that means we really need to get inside. So lift the needle tip up. Yeah. yeah. So you want to do this as much as possible. Yeah, yeah I'm doing that. Good, very good. More. Lift the needle tip up more. Advance. Lift it up more. Yeah. Advance. Push, 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 push. You'll get a pop there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let's see where the tip is now. And bring your anatomy back in the middle. There you go. So you're right. Uh, okay. So pull back a tiny bit because you may be through the conjoint tendon. Yes. Okay. So here, this injection should result in a substantial spread in the axillary yeah. plexus sheet. There we go, that's what you want. You see how the radial nerve is being lifted now? Yep. Okay, keep going. How many cc's have you given so far? Two now. Okay, very good, keep going. Two milliliters have been given. Three. Keep going, so now you can see the ulnar nerve. Four. You can see how this injection also blocks the ulnar nerve as well. So four total. 
Yes. Okay. Advice a tiny bit more, just a tiny bit more. That's good. Into the pool of local anesthetic. Stop. Good. Aspirate. Aspiration is negative again. And inject one cc. There you go. So that's f filling up the space pretty nicely. Uh, we're done there. Okay, let's go back with your needle to the median nerve. What are we going to do? Right there. Pull back. Inject one cc again. This is for the median nerve. Okay, we're not getting the spread we want there. So we're going to go back with the needle and on top of the artery here. And so we're going over the median nerve. Keep going. Yes. Keep going. Okay. Continue advancing needle. Now you should feel a pop as you enter the main sheet. That was it. Yeah. Pull back. Stay there. Okay. Aspiration negative. Okay. Yeah. Twitch absent. One cc. Give again, please, Mohammed. Thank you. There you go. So now we can see how that local anesthetic now affects the under nerve, spreads into the sheath, and also affects the median nerve. So we're going to go back, give one ml of local anesthetic just above the going out, above the median nerve. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. There. Aspirate, inject one ml. That's done. Good. So we're finished with the axillary. The only thing we need to do is the musculocutaneous, so we don't want her to be able to flex her elbow during the operation. So let's look at the musculocutaneous nerve. You can see how carefully we had to advance and redirect the needle due to the lack of adipose tissue. And we injected only 10 milliliter of local anesthetic. Nysora's Nerve Block app. Don't do or teach nerve blocks without it. I hope you like this video and if you do, make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you never miss the future ones. Until next time.